Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to learn how to edit our uh, TKD AO HUD. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is uh, create a copy of the AO. Right here, I'm right clicking, choosing copy, and then pasting it. So now we have a copy of the AO. Now we're going to want to uh, set it on the ground to um, add any animations or sound or anything like that you want to add to it. Um, so you need to put it on the ground first and then go to your animation and I'm going to add in um, a twist jump. So this will be a good uh, example of adding an animation. So I'm adding twist jump to my animation, uh, to my AO. So now we want to take the AO after you've added uh, all the animation you want. So now we have a third copy here. We're going to wear it. And now, let's get myself positioned here. Okay. Now, so we're wearing the HUD. Now we can easily edit right while we're wearing the HUD. So I'm going to add this twist jump to uh, the note card. Okay, as you can see here, um, there are four different note cards inside this AO um, combat here, but. Um, so we have these uh, different note cards that we can edit. Um, right now, we're going. I'm going to edit the human note card. And uh, this whole AO system we created from scratch. So uh, we are able to um, develop this however we wanted to. Uh, what we thought was the best way, the easiest way, to um, edit these uh, complex systems. Uh, so there's different uh, things you can edit here. We have uh, um, the talking, uh, your away animation, uh, your busy animation, swimming, uh, sitting, jumping, uh, fly, uh, and air, uh, walks, turns, stands. Uh, and the most, uh, the only one that's really... Um, you need to remember is uh, the stands. The stands work a little bit differently. Um, you list each individual stand separated by these commas. Um, you might want to put the animation in m many more times. So um, there's a limit on how many characters you can use per line. So our solution to this is to add a new line. Um, so we simply add a new S line to uh, the note card and you can add whatever stands you want to add just like that. And you can have, uh, you know, unlimited uh, S lines, uh, stand lines. But, uh, so that's the only weird... Uh, Thing you need to remember. And twist. Uh, okay, here we go. Twist jump. So the animation is inside the AO. If I click jump, the jump button, we have eight jumps in here. None, uh, twist jump is not listed, does not come with this AO. So it's not in the list. And now we're going to, to add it to the list. Okay. Now we double click or right click open and 
now we see the note card inside and how it's configured. So what we are adding is a jump. So here's our jump set right here. And each animation is just separated by a comma. You'll see at the beginning of the line there is the J to signify a jump. So each beginning of the line has a letter to symbolize we, what each line is. And then after uh, the comma, you have each individual animation listed. So we're going to add a twist jump. So we type it in exactly as it is named in the animation, twist jump. It is the last one in the set, so it should show, it should be the default one when it loads. So we're going to save that. It's going to take a minute to save. Okay, now we reload the note card. The note card is going to take a minute to load here. Okay, it's loaded. Now, if we click jump, you will see twist jump right here. And it's the first one, so it's going to be the default one that we've chosen. And let's see the animation. And uh, when it comes to animation, you always want to, first time you see it, uh, it's loading. So you're not always going to see it correctly. Uh, but the second time and any time after that, uh, you see the animation, it will load. Um, the, so basically, all the different categories work the same way for your swimming. You just replace the animation or... Um, add the animation to the list yeah so that's basically it um, it's that easy um, and if you ever have uh, or need any help uh, in world just let me know and I will be right there to give you a hand okay